You were an educator, and, and you have. You've educated an American public that was used to um, same old, same old. And uh, I, I'm, I'm just wondering, how can you bear to leave with another Bush-Clinton election campaign? Is it beyond satire? Uh, I think at a certain point, it's just I didn't want to do a sequel. <laughs> you know, there's only, there's only so many of these uh, uh, that you can do. Uh, you know, I, I think that the process by which, you know, our elections are run have, have become increasingly redundant. And I think you get to a certain point where you feel as though you've presented it as, as clearly and as effectively and as, as, as humorously as you possibly can. And maybe there's another way in on this. Maybe there's another way to do it. So just creatively, it was probably time. For a moment, I thought you were talking about the British general election. The British, no, you guys do it right. You get to the same terrible results we get to, but you do it so much more efficiently. To do it, to do in six weeks what it takes us four years to accomplish is, well, it's, it's quite exciting. How much do you know of the British general election? I mean, have you noticed any characters? Has anybody woken you up? How about Russell Brand? Well, I, well, I didn't, I didn't know he was running. Boy, you really have, <laughs> so you guys are. He you is, guys are but he's not there. on the ballot paper. I'm, just, I, I'm excited for any election. I, I feel like the British public will go through as many millibands as they can till they get to one that they like. So I don't know how many more of the brothers there are, but I'm sure if the, uh, if the British public continues to meet more and more millibands, they'll find one uh, that they deem appropriate. And do you have any sense of the possible outcome? Uh, well, I think uh, both Cameron and Miliband have been smart to not uh, portray themselves as too Churchillian or too charismatic. Uh, I think it's really smart to, to lower the public's expectations of you, what you, you, either, you, either one of those could, could accomplish. Uh, I, I really think it's going to come down to SNP. I think they're going to they're be the deciding vote, and England is going to secede from itself. That's, you see <laughs> that's my guess. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I think that's the way it's going to go. I, I think you may be on the money, but I, you see, the, the, the thing here is that we think that we've been dragged into the American way of politics, that in the end, there are no winners. I mean, your Congress is jammed. We're talking about Westminster simply being unable to function because there won't be a winner. You know, I mean, what have we done to politics? Well, no, have, this we, is, have, we trashed, this, again. have we trashed politicians, made jokes of them yes. so much that nobody believes in them and nobody wants to run? Right. But that's not the problem of the jokes. We're, that, that's the problem. That, you know, people have lost faith in the system, not because people have pointed it out, but because the system has shown itself to be uh, so fraudulent. You know, we here in, in, in the States look very admiringly about the fact that you don't spend that much money on elections. You do them very quickly. Your news media, I was listening to your program uh, in my ear. It's it's sober. It's concise, it's clear-minded, it uh, has no partisan rumblings, it has no bias. Uh, you have the institutions in place that we imagine we wish we had, and yet here we are, you uh, guys make the same stupid decisions we do, even with the proper institutions. So, uh, so, so there you have it. With, with uh, not spending too much on elections, with having a better news broadcasting system, with questioning your politicians in question time directly, and yet you still went to war in Iraq. So you, you, I'm not sure what the answer is anymore. Could you take those rose-tipped glasses off, please? <laughs> it's only, I think it's salt water from the ocean. Uh, but it's, it's, you know, we chastise our, our own institutions as being not serious, and I think we view yours as as slightly more serious. So I think it's comforting to us to see you making the same stupid decisions we make. John Stewart, thank you very much indeed for joining us live from New York. Hi, it's me, John Snow, here for you on YouTube. If you like that, why don't you watch my interview with Russell Brand? He says we need a political revolution and click subscribe to make sure you're up to date with all our videos. Go on, do it. Don't miss out.